you want to make your you point, live make your in point. a total Don't make world it of denial. I read your own followers' comments, and they all trashed you, every one of them, and supported me. Uh, yeah, right, right. Quiet with right. your personal Yeah, attacks. come find out again. Make whatever okay. point you want. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't make do, it personal. You don't know anything. You don't know you anything. You attacked me you personally. Just, you're so deluded. All right. I've okay. only been a professor just, for 51 I, years. On this program, I've never been able books. to finish a How thought. How many books have you published? Been an, no, because you're personally yeah. attacking me again. Say whatever you want, but I'm not okay, going to stand for personal Okay, but brother, you attacks. got it wrong. Say you whatever were you want. You preposterously and stupidly wrong. So, okay, all right. Can I Don't just finish a goddamn thought stupid. ever on this show? No, not if you're okay. personally well, I admitted I was wrong. I don't need you to call me stupid. Okay. Can I just say, it's great to see you Democrats all getting along. Drama, drama, drama in Piers Morgan Uncensored. Wow. You should remember that these are two liberals going at each other. So the Republicans are just sitting back, grabbing their popcorn, and just watching the show go on. Democrats going on each other. Like, wow, wow. Some of them are saying that it's because of misogyny, it's because of, uh, you know, men didn't just like Kamala Harris and racism. Oh, that was a card. I almost forgot. It's racism. Why others like Jenk is saying that, well, maybe the establishment failed. So there is this, uh, I would say, civil war in the Democratic Party right now they are trying to figure out what really went wrong but uh, everyone could see even in africa that i am we could see what went wrong the democrats went overboard you know they went and uh, you know they took some stuff far left way too far left i don't know if i can say them here but uh that wasn't cool i mean even someone in africa without education would tell you that that doesn't make sense come on what's going on in america I was planning to, to travel to Mexico to cross the border. Now I can't. Look at those people. Look at how they're thinking. How can I be in America? So anyway, let's just go on. We could get into this discussion, but one, I think you're blaming the voters. I think that's a terrible idea. Uh, and uh, look, I debated uh, Professor Lickman before. I told him his theories about the keys were absurd. I was right. He was wrong. I said he'd lose his keys. No, you were Couldn't not find right, him before and I the was election. not wrong. And that's a cheap shot, and I won't stand for it. <laughs> well, who won, you, brother? You should not be who taking won? cheap who shots won? at me. Who you won? Want to make your you point, live make your in a oh, world personal. of denial. I read your own followers' <laughs> comments, and they all trashed you, every one of them, and supported Where me. Where is my yeah, book right, with right. personal Yeah, attacks. come find out again. Make whatever okay. point you want. Yeah, yeah. Don't make it You don't know anything. Anything. You don't know you anything. You attacked me you personally. Just, you're so deluded. All right. I've okay. only been a professor just, for 51 I, years. On this program, I've never been able books. to finish a How thought. many books have you published? Been an, no, because you're personally yeah. attacking me again. Say whatever you want, but I'm not okay, going to stand but for brother, personal you attacks. got it wrong. Say you whatever were you want. You were preposterously and stupidly wrong. So, okay, all right. Can I don't just finish a goddamn thought? stupid. Ever on this show? No, not if you're okay. personally. Well, I admitted I was wrong. I don't need you to call me stupid. Okay. Great. Can I just say, it's great to see you Democrats yeah, all getting Who along so well. Who taught you manners? I, it's lovely <laughs> to see you post on that kind of harmony as you all come point. together just, again. Just hey, Alan, right now. Oh, God. Hey, Alan, you deserve a tall glass of shut-up juice, so can you just shut up for a second and let someone who knows what not they're doing so talk to me. You're so right. Uh-oh. The professor is about to cry. Right okay. want, so I will not sit here and stand so, for personal attacks for blasphemy against me. You don't need to do that. You don't blasphemy, really? Blasphemy you against you? What the hell are you? Are like you that? Jesus just Christ? You point. loser! Okay, can I, can, I, can I just give the correct answer for once? Register predicted Vice President Kamala Harris leading President-elect Trump 47 to 44 percent in the final poll ahead of election. <laughs> we are still in a news environment in which there are good polls and particularly where in some oh, this whole pool thing and stuff like that in my personal opinion i do think uh, that woman didn't get it wrong something went on which i'm still trying to figure out and i know all of us are still trying to figure out you cannot say kamala harris is up in iowa by three points and trump 
ended up winning by about 13 points. Yeah, I smell something. Something I can't say now. I don't know if I will still get in trouble. Trump has won, right? We are supposed to feel free to say whatever I want to say. Oh, maybe we still got till 20th of January. Anyway, let's just hold on. Let, let's be patient. States, there is a gold standard pollster who appears to be unaffected by larger dynamics that are making everybody whine about the polls. And the reason those individual pollsters get the gold standard designation is both because of their proven sound methodology, but also because of their track record over time in that particular jurisdiction. And the prototypical example of a gold standard poll is the, by Ann Selzer, by J. Ann Selzer in Iowa. The polls that she produces for the Des Moines Register in Iowa, specifically the final Iowa polls she does before each major election, her polls are known for their uncanny predictive accuracy. This is Ann Selzer's recent track record. I mean, what you, what you see here mm. is in, in each election year, what her final poll said the result would be in Iowa. Next to that is what the actual result was on election day. And as you can see, if you look at the Senate and presidential races since 2012, her poll has accurately predicted the winner of the Senate and presidential races in Iowa within one or two points every time. There was a governor's race in 2018 where things went a little bit gang aglay, but in Senate and presidential races, you have seen Ann Seltzer basically as a living bullseye. And I don't understand why they're still trying to protect her she got it wrong we don't need to be explaining she got it right the past 12 times or whatever blah 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 let's just take the facts for what it is today okay i don't want to be making some kind of comments here but uh i just love watching these clips and just giving my reactions to them it makes me want to just stay put in wakanda because what i see in america well i won't be going through mexico anymore and that's why lots of people had strong reactions <laughs> when the Des Moines Register and Selzer Iowa poll was posted last night. This is that poll, and it is a shock result. A few moments later. First on 13 this morning, <laughs> top pollster Ann Selzer announcing that she plans on retiring from election polling. You better retire. This morning after Selzer and the Des Moines Register predicted Vice President Kabbalah Harris leading President-elect Trump 47 to 44% in the final poll ahead of election day. 10 million Biden voters who decided not to vote this time, and that's directly tied to missing. You know, they don't like Trump, but, you know, they're thinking, Donald well, Trump do we really want... Did Donald Trump not pick up more votes this time than he did in 2016? So, pardon me? Did Donald Trump pick up more votes this time than he did in 2016? Uh, yeah, or but not, picked... Oh, remember, this is the pool star in uh, where Cenk was harassing in P.S. Bogan show. So this is him, just in case you, you don't know who the, the guy is. He looks a little bit different, but he's a guy. So he's trying to explain himself. In 2020, the most relevant last election. He picked up about the same. But is that, uh, let me both finish. Both sides let can say finish. things like this, like misinformation. If you don't let me make that. my points, why do you have me on? No, we love it's finish. a conversation. It's spirited. Me, I think there's a little right, bit of a delay. Done. We're done. I, I you think we'd love me talk. What's the point? You can Are you the expert or am I the expert? You uh, can uh, He's trying to say it was due to misinformation on the part of the Republicans. But I, I, in my personal opinion, I think there is even more in the other side. So. Yeah, both sides can make the argument like the anchor is trying to say, but it's triggered, and what can we do? We just need to watch the meltdown and react on it and uh, grab our popcorn and just, yeah, relax. Question you me, so claim to be an expert. Talk. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. The critical thing in this election were at least 10 million Biden voters who did not vote. If even half of them had voted, this election would have been different. We hope to have you back in four years. Uh, there is a little bit oh of a delay, gosh. Professor Lickman, <laughs> so I apologize if we were stepping on each other's toe. Our intent was, of course, to listen to what you had to say. And like you said, you were wrong, but maybe in four years we'll get back. In four years, I'm, I'm sure Chuck Schumer will win. Yeah, and we all know what he will be running for, right? Definitely the first female president of America, like Trump said, jokingly, you know, in the White House, uh, was it a correspondence dinner, something like that?
back on yeah. track again. Alan Lickman with us here on the DMV's generation, Generation X, the people who grew up on WWE and Hulk Hogan and Donald mm -hmm. Trump did this. They did this. They are the ones who looked in the face of somebody who said, I want to be a dictator on day one. We did this. My sister, Joy Reid, come on, come on. After all these years, it just make me don't want to come to Uncle Sam anymore. I'll remain in Wakanda. It's, it is clear that senior women are an advantage to Kamala Harris in our poll. They, she, Kamala Harris wins by more than two to one, actually, maybe even more than that among senior women. It's a big, big spread. Absolute prick. I can't stand him. But anyway. Um... Wait, so she didn't account for that? She didn't see that coming? Or what she paid for? She's a pool star, a forecaster. You're supposed to see that and predict and make your predictions. But as usual... There's always an explanation for everything, right? Yeah, so why bother ourselves? Hey there. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. If you watch this show regularly, I'm guessing you're not doing great. Yeah, me neither. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants. What will the rest of us be doing on day one. Right. Now's the time to stand in solidarity with our friends, with our neighbors. Well, <laughs> Bishop Vigano. All the late night shows doing badly. Wow. They are all in meltdown. Who would have predicted this? But they'll be all right. They love it. It's Trump. They'll get their best ratings ever. I will get the greatest content ever. So I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. The next four years, let's see what's going to happen. Don't worry about those late night shows, guys. Deep inside them, they're happy that Trump will give them a lot of content. In these past four years, they've been in the wilderness. Nothing was coming their way. And uh, some of the networks were thinking of even uh, trimming down some of the staff. So, yeah, they're somehow happy that Trump won so they can keep their jobs and keep on making those allegedly 10 million dollars 20 million dollars whatever the amount and pretend that they are middle class and they are suffering just like us in africa anyway i'm not in america i don't know how you guys are doing there but uh yeah the world was not has not been good in this past couple of years so uh hopefully things will be better thanks for tuning in to the black coffee podcast i'll see you in the next one cheers